Hey Savvy Shoppers and Bargain Hunters, welcome back to my channel, Flamingo Finds. Today I have another haul for you and this time it's a Dollar Tree haul. Before I get started with the haul, you know I gotta take a moment to welcome you back. Hey! <laughs> and if you're new, welcome. If you are new and wondering what we do here, here we do hauls from affordable places like Dollar Tree or Aldi. I would always tell people you can find some really good things at these places. They wouldn't believe me. So I started this channel because I can show you better than I can tell you. That said, let's get on with this random Dollar Tree haul. So I guess I'll start with, um, normally I start with the food first, but today I'm going to start with the boring stuff because it's boring. But I needed to get some um, bowls for a family gathering, so I grabbed this pack and there's two of them in there. And this was in their party section. I don't know if you can see because it's clear, but that's what they look like. Like I said, not too exciting, but if you need them, you know, very useful. And I also got this one. It's a little bigger and I like the, the design on it too. And this one's really... Um, it's pretty thick so after the function you really could wash it and put it away and use it for the next party so next i'll do the food items and the first thing i have is this old school size of sunny d i think it's still a little smaller than what we had though but when i saw it it just reminded me of being little and it brought me back to that nostalgia so i had to grab it for my daughters i got one of these and look at the size of this it's pretty good size for adults next fun. i have this um like nacho cheese this is more of like the queso blanco it's a salsa de queso blanco so and the brand is mexicali and this is white nacho cheese and i got a can of that and i got a can of the same brand mexicali nacho cheese and this is the original i thought my girls would like it for lunch they can make themselves some nachos or if we have tacos one night they could add this to it so i grabbed that and the um I'm trying to oh enchilada sauce but i didn't get that but i'll try to insert a picture so that you can see it the next food item i have is body armor and it's uh it says it's a superior hydration drink like we've been having a heat wave i'm in alabama in case you know you're wondering but we've we've actually been having a heat wave too so i just thought this would be good to have on hand for my girls and they can drink this and here's tropical punch that's what that one looks like but here's orange mango my cousin was saying like it was so good and she was saying because she just got back from Vegas. So she, she was saying she would drink one of these before she would drink and she drank one before she went to bed and she said she didn't have a hangover. And I was like, what? I mean, so it seems like it was that good and it's hot over in Vegas too. It was hot when she was there. So that's why I was like, okay, let me, let me try to the back to the hall. So here's strawberry banana, strawberry grape body armor and this is the mamba one forever mamba and that's um kobe bryant that's what they call him so you know he's passed on but here's what that looks like so and i thought this the whole bottle was neat i'll probably give this one to my brother i think he would really like that next i'll get into like um some repeat buys but they were so good i had to it would say so nice i had to buy it twice <laughs> sounds good so nice i had to buy it twice but this is the palm olive spray and um this is what you what you use it for is you spread on your dishes you let it sit and then you rinse your dishes and it helps with the tough stains and this actually works because um i made what did i make i made something in my crock pot i cannot remember what it was oh it was pulled pork pulled pork and instead of soaking the crock pot i sprayed it with this palm olive and when i came back a few hours later because you know you just spray it and i just let it sit I took a paper towel and just wiped the rim of it and it all came off. So it worked really well. So I grabbed a couple more of these because I was like, yes, I definitely want to keep these on. Now some of this, I seen someone haul this and they were saying that it works pretty well, the fab. So I was like, eh, it's washing powder, $1.25. I'll try it, I'll try it. So next I grabbed some napkins and I, I grabbed them to craft with, but you can grab them just because it's just fun. It's fun to have like cute little napkins out for the summer or you may have like a party coming up. But anyway, the first one I got, and they have this this is not a new item they've had this before so i grabbed the orange slice i thought it was so cute so i grabbed that i grabbed the lemon one can you see it and i grabbed the watermelon and i like this one it looks like it's been painted with watercolor paints it looks so cute grab this sweet summer one with the popsicles i thought that was pretty to, to do some summer crafting next i grabbed some baby stuff Dollar Tree does have um, quite a few baby items and I grabbed some of them and I grabbed some socks and this is a two pack of socks I think yeah two packs and that's what they look like and they're so cute they even have a little grippies like little babies like this I don't think babies this size walk yet but how cute I grabbed these bows I got this set of bows 
and I grabbed this set of little hair bows. And um, in one of my shop with me, someone mentioned in the comments that you could use these little bows if you don't have a baby. You could use them for, for dog bows for your dog. I thought that was so, such a good idea. I also grabbed a pack, a two pack of the headbands. And they have pink and white. Look how cute. I love anything that's baby. It's just really even cuter. Um, bandana bib. And it's cute with the rainbows. So cute fleece blanket with the unicorn so pretty and I know you're like oh is somebody you know having a baby no no one's having a baby but my daughter has a baby doll so um she inherited a baby doll and it looks it looks pretty real so here's she went and grabbed a baby for me look how big she is like this is a big baby doll but she um we got it from my granny's so she we named her after my grandma which is anime but she's so big so she just needed a, she needs a little spruce in though. Part of the haul, I know you are probably thinking when I show you, girl, you don't need any more. I found more nail polish. I found more nail polish, <laughs> and I grabbed I grabbed every color that that the store had. I got all this from one store, but I I had y'all. Okay, first of all, this is a different brand. Home in the China Glaze, and that was a good deal. China Glaze. But this is OPI, and I know OPI is not cheap because I, okay, on a good deal, I've paid for four bottles of OPI nail polish, $28 plus shipping, because I got it from the whole, sh the um, like, shopping channel, shopping network channel, and it was a good deal because it was the latest colors, you know. I bought it for, I think, a fall. It was a set of fall colors, but that was for four bottles, $28 for four bottles. Now I paid $5 because, you know, it's $1.25 for four bottles just saying five twenty eight five twenty eight i'd rather spend five anyway this is the first one i have and this one says can you till what does it say oh i can i can till you like me these are the names they give these nail polish but it's one of the sheer tints so it's a teal color but it's a very sheer like it's a top coat so if you can see that so there's the first yes. one two like this and this is called the um pop culture and what it is it actually has bubbles in it because i was like this has bubbles in it and i got this color and i got this color let me show you so i got the days of pop and this is blue color and i have hate to burst your bubble put two coats on and you let it dry it looks like bubbles in your nails so i thought that would be neat my girls would like to try it and i mean the colors are really pretty so i grabbed that green color I thought this was pretty, especially around Christmas time. And this is my Gecko Dust Tricks. Gecko, ugh. I grabbed this green, and this is Green Green Cup True. So I grabbed this. I grabbed, I grabbed this yellow color, and it's Life. Oh, Life, they said Life gave me lemons, so you made nail polish. That's cute, I love that. I grabbed this hollow, this is like a hollow, holographic color, look at that. It's like hollow glitter, it's really cute. And it's called Tinker Thinker Winker. Tinker Thinker Winker. That's what it says. So I grabbed this one. And this one is my favorite. It's like um, silver with gold glitter chunks in it. It is so pretty. And this is Baroque, but still shopping. Like, but not broke, but as in Baroque. Like the Baroque period. So well, that's the end of this haul. I really appreciate you for watching, especially if you made it to the end. And um, all my wishlist items. Even though I have a ton, you know I'm going to say this nail polish is always going to be on my wish list. So did I haul any of your wish list items? If I did, let me know in the comments below. Or did you recently find some of your wish list items, even if they were in this haul? Let me know down below because I always tell y'all this is a safe space for us bargain hunters. People in our everyday life don't want to talk about Dollar Tree, but I do. I, I, like, I want to talk about it. We'll see you next time, next haul, next shop with me. Bye.